Okay? Everybody knows that he was sold out, all right? Now, one of the things that this guy teaches, he they teach in their school that they don't know the name of the Most High or they don't know the name of his son. Now, I put together all these scriptures, and I, the reason why I wrote them down was so they can be in order. And you know what? I had maybe three times as many. Right here is about maybe 40 scriptures. I could have got another 100 scriptures to add to this, man. There's so many scriptures dealing with the name of the Most High. See, the name of the Most High is important, all right? Now, the Spirit worked on this brother right here to make this sign on the Hebrew, because we're going to start showing you some Hebrew, too, all right? Now, this is the first time I'm seeing this sign. He made it today. Now, it says here, when you look at the Hebrew, them scholars call this Paleo-Hebrew. Now, Paleo is Latin for ancient, old Hebrew. Because you got New Hebrew, which really, this is Assyrian. This right here is Paleo-Hebrew, or ancient Hebrew. When Moses got the commandments, that's the type of writing that he got it in. The ancient Hebrew, or the Paleo-Hebrew, right? Now, up here, it says in the he if you knew how to read Hebrew, that character right there is a lot. That's a lot. Right here in the Assyrian, it's similar, a lot. And the ancient is right here, a lot. So you got la, you got sha, wa, and you got na. When you put the word together, it's la sha one. The word la sha one is uh, Hebrew for language, right? And the word um, quadash is Hebrew for pure. So that's the basics of the Hebrew, right? Now this is the basic Hebrew alphabet. Now I have a, um, do me a favor, brother, give me the uh, dictionary, that big dictionary. I don't know if it breaks, because some of them dictionaries that the white man put together, they actually break down the Hebrew, right? That's the first letter of the alphabet, which is an A. Ah. When you went to the first grade kindergarten, they said this is an A. When you turn it that way, that's an A. And the sound for an A is what? Ah, they teach you that in school. All right? I got something. The next, the next, the next uh, letter is ba. All right? Or what they call B. The next is ga. The next is da. Ha, wa, za, ha. Because when you speak in Hebrew, let's say you want to say Bethlehem, that means, um, Bethlehem means um, Bayath, which is a house, and Lacham is bread, the house of bread. So this character right here is, <laughs> is <laughs> it's almost like you ready to spit, okay? Then you got Ta, Ya, that's the first letter in the Most High's name, right? Then you got Ka, and I mentioned La, you got Ma, Na, Sa, I. This is the only, at all these, right, this is the only character that has a different sound than any of the rest of the 22 characters, all right? Because you got two sounds, two um, Vowel. vowels. You got Ah, uh, and you got I. Once you understand Ah uh, and I, that's the whole Hebrew language, all right? So you got I, you got Pa. Now Pa, that's where you get the word mouth. Like Paya, Paya Allah is the mouth of, of, of God, mouth, mouth of the Most High. Now if you look at it, it looks like an open mouth, right? Then you got Taza, then you got Kwa, then you got Ra, then you got Sha, then you got Tha. So that's the whole Hebrew uh, alphabet, right? Now, when you go down to the Assyrian, once you understand that, the characters are a little fancier, but this is the Assyrian. So you got Ah, Ba, Ga, Da, and so forth. All right? And when you put, right, and another thing, when you read Hebrew, in English, you read it from left to right. In Hebrew, you read it from right to left. So if you look at this word right here, like I'm gonna point out to one of you brothers, right? What's that character right there? Look at it on the board. Okay, good. Yeah, right? What's that character right there? Good. What's that character right there? 
Thank you. What's that character right here? When you put it together, you got ya, ha, you got wa, ha, but if you notice, there's a little connector right there. So what you do is you take the wa and the ha, and when you put it together, you got wa. Not wa, but wa. So you would say ya, ha, wa. That's the Most High's name. That's the Most High's name. This is his son's name. Now give me the scripture um, in, um, in Psalms. What is his son's name? If thou can know. 30 and 4. I'm sorry, Proverbs 30. I'm sorry, Proverbs 30 and 4. Um, you got Yah, Ha, Wa. The same, same way you say it on this side. You got Yah, Ha, Wa. And then you got Sha and I. When you put the words together, Ya is separate, Ha is separate, Wa is she, uh, separate, and then you got Sha and I, you put it together, you got Shai. So now let's read that. Ya, Ha, Wa, Shai. Now you just said the son's name. All right? It's not the name. Right. So now y'all can go back over there. I just want y'all to get this real quick, all right? Go ahead and speak on it. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, this, this right here, this is an actual article this brother got, and this is an actual stone that was found in Los Lunas, Mexico. And this this uh, this stone here is engraved with the Ten Commandments in the in the what they call the Paleo Hebrew. And this is in America, right? Yeah. Showing you that the Gadites that proved the white man knows that the Gadites are Israelites. All right, they yep. can't get that stone out. They've been trying to get it out using cranes. They can't get it. They out. can't get the stone out. And if you brothers want, you know, pass it around. Yeah, pass it around. Yeah, pass just it take, around. Just take a look at, at the writing. <laughs> you can see it, it has a Hebrew in it. I got it. Um, this is our Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. So there's a difference between the Heavenly Father's name and his son's name. So right. we showed you. And we showed you. The Heavenly Father's name and his son's name. Alright? So the difference here is, now I'm gonna break down these characters, right? Yah by itself means he. Yah by itself means he, and how it means to be or present, or he's present, or he is. When you break it down to somebody, when you say Yahweh, you're saying he is. Like he told Moses, I am. Over here, Yah means he, and ha wa shai is, in the English, when you look at the, uh, the book uh, Hosea, that's how shai. So the word how shai means deliverer. So the Yah in the beginning makes it He. So He is the deliverer. That's right. Somebody give me Matthews uh, 121. But well, these guys up there in Harlem is teaching, they don't know the name of the Most High. And you ain't supposed to name, know the name of the Most High. And the Most High didn't reveal His name. But these scriptures right here, talking about Abraham, talking about David, talking about the different prophets, and like I said, I could have added another hundred scriptures easy to this list right here. So all these guys, even some of the Israelite women, knew the name of the Most High. All right? Uh, Go ahead, brother. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Now right there, that's an, that's an English form of Savior. But in the Hebrew, if you had a, a Hebrew New Testament, the word there, it's supposed to be Yahweh Shai. All right? You got it, brother? Yeah, this is still different. I'm trying to see if I can Yo, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Read that again, brother. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now, go from there to the book of uh, St. John 14 and 13. And then you give me the book of um, James 5, and I think that's the 10th verse, if I'm not mistaken. James 5 and 10. See, when you go, when you, 
talking about you an Israelite and you're trying to wake up Israel, but you don't know the name of the Most High, how you gonna pray to the Most High? You can't pray to the Most High. So these guys are going off. Yeah, brother. Yes, we gotta be taught. We gotta be taught that name. Yeah, but them guys are saying they don't know the name of the Most High. It hasn't been revealed yet. So they ain't teaching. They saying they using the word Christ. They using the word God. Oh, we don't know the name of the Most High. You know why they teaching that? Because they got paid off not to teach it. Because you ever heard about the King of the, the Key of David? The Key of David is a is a is a key that opens a door to get to the Most High. But it ain't a regular key that you use to open up your car door or your house. The key is to open up a, a spiritual door. So that key is his name. Well, just keep it going. So basically, they paid them guys off to say, don't push that name. Don't say that name. Because if you don't say that name, then you don't have that key to open that door, that spiritual door. <laughs> so if you don't have that key, you're not going to grow. What are you talking about? You're, you're actually going to die spiritually, right? I got the scripture for you. Right, go ahead. Uh, and all the scriptures that I got, right? Matthew 23 and 13. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven. Now the scribes and the Pharisees, they didn't know the name of the Most High. They didn't know his son's name. All right, go ahead. For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Now how do you go to the kingdom of heaven spiritually? By his name. When you pray to the Most High in his name and in the Son's name, then he opens up doors to you, all right? That's why I said go, you I got it? it? I got it. Go ahead. John 14 and 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Now why would the Lord say that if, if, they don't, if the name wasn't revealed? <laughs> Read again, brother. Yep. John 14 and 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Yeah, how shy? Go ahead. That will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And that's, that's plain, man. There's, there's more. All right, go ahead. If ye shall ask anything in my name. There it goes again. I will do it. I will do it. All right, go ahead. James 5 and 10. Take my brethren, the prophets, Take my brethren the prophets. Go ahead. Who have spoken in the name of the Lord. So if you don't know the name of the Lord, you're not a prophet of the Lord. All right? If you don't know the name of the Lord, then you're not a prophet of the Lord because the Most High gives his name unto his servants. All right? That's one of his secrets. That's why this prophet goes around. They think they know the name of the Most High. And what do they say? Yahweh. Jehovah. All right, it's close, but it's not the name. Now, I was thinking of another scripture. Um, read that again, brother, read that again. James chapter five, verse 10. Take my brethren, the prophets. Oh, Amos, uh, Amos three and seven. Who have spoken in the name of the Lord. And that's plain, brother. So you gotta know the name. So anybody that's not, like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it. Anybody that's saying they don't know the name, or you ain't supposed to know the name, or the name is too high for you, or you got to be on a certain uh, level to know that name, there's no sign dealing with you, man. That's right. All right? right? That's why them guys are going down, and we coming up, because we're teaching everything that the scriptures say. All right? right. Now, where did I say go, brother? Amos, Amos 3 and 7. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So who's the ones that's going to get the secrets of the Most High? The prophets. So we're the prophets. How do you know that we're the prophets? Because we know his name. And you brothers that are out here that stick with this thing, you're the prophets too. Hey, you know his name?